Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Advice. So today what I want to ask is, will there be a V8 option for the 2021 Ford Bronco or if we're even likely to get a V8 option in 2022? So let's jump right in and try to answer the question of whether we're ever going to get a V8, that's Ford's 5 liter engine, in this bad boy right here, the Bronco. Now in doing so, uh, we're going to have to look at you know the Bronco's off-road capabilities, uh, what it's built for, we're also going to look uh, very quickly at you know current government regulations and what's coming up. Uh, we're also going to look at the current 2.7 liter and see what that offers us versus the 5 liter V8. So in simple terms, we're going to look at power specs and fuel economy, uh, as well as uh, government regulations and what the tendency towards what governments are doing uh, to increase fuel economy uh, in order to really, you know, figure out and give us a spot on idea of whether we're going to get a 5 liter in the Bronco. So to do justice to this question, uh, we really need to look at what the 5 liter currently is offering. Uh, I absolutely love my 5 liter in my Mustang, my 2018 Mustang. Uh, it's a fantastic engine. It's, you know, state of the art because, you know, contrary to popular belief, which I think would lend to believe that uh, a V8 isn't fuel efficient, this V8 is fuel efficient. Uh, it's got similar fuel economy to the other engines that Ford is offering. However, if you do compare it to the 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine, there is a difference. Now that's three miles per gallon. Uh, I took that from a fuel economy uh, government website. Uh, and when I looked into things a little further, three miles per gallon on an individual uh, perspective doesn't make much of a difference at all. Uh, it's $150 per year on average that you'd spend in extra fuel for a three mile per gallon difference. Now, I hope that wouldn't influence very many buyers decisions because otherwise you know exciting really cool fast vehicles are going to be you know are going to be put back to a bygone era where we're going to see less and less of them and eventually won't get any at all so you know the consumer really does decide in a large part what gets produced so you know i think if we all do the math and uh look at it you know we would all want a five liter bronco because, you know, the V8, if it's only going to cost $150 in fuel, why not? Now, this leads us to another question. And that question is, what are governments around the world currently doing in regards to regulations for fuel economy? Well, uh, in this sense, it's not that promising. You know, we, we reduce our chances of getting a V8 in the Bronco because generally uh, on a global scale, governments are putting in regulations that are causing manufacturers to put smaller, less powerful engines in their vehicles. And now, if you look at uh, the ca CAFE government regulation, that would uh, dictate, uh, you know, if that ever does happen, fully come to fruition, that's going to cause manufacturers to have to have a very high, I believe it's 50 uh, miles per gallon average across the board. So, you know, car companies are going to have to figure out which models get, you know, more fun fuel burning engines with lots of power and which other vehicles are going to just be, you know, 100% electric or hybrid. So, you know, that's one small strike against the chances of getting a V8 in the the bronco because for a manufacturer if they're going to sell you know three four hundred thousand uh models uh you know let's say ford sells three hundred thousand broncos per year well the three miles per gallon is going to make a big difference for ford to achieve that 50 mile per gallon overall average across all their models 
So I think what this means is that if we do get a five liter V8 in the Bronco, eh, they're gonna have to reserve it to a very high end trim, a specialty model, uh, to make sure that they don't sell, you know, two, 300,000 uh, vehicles with that engine option, bringing up their, their overall average. Now we have to look at power specs. What do power specs tell us in regards to our likelihood of getting a V8? So the power spec story, for the five liter is a bit similar to what we saw in my previous video for the asking the question of whether the, the, the four cylinder engine is any good and what's wrong with it. Now, uh, in that video, I concluded that the four cylinder turbo is as good, if not actually better. And I feel it's better than a six cylinder, like a 3.6 liter non turbo six cylinder. And this power chart, you know, does speak to that. Essentially what this chart is telling us is that Ford's 2.3 liter four cylinder engine has a lot of torque right off the bat. So it's, you know, good for off-roading uh, and it's just good for, you know, pressing down on the pedal, getting instant power and having fun. But the five liter actually has uh, quite a bit of torque at low end. So, you know, in regards to off-roading, the five liter would make an amazing engine because it has a ton of torque around 325 pound feet of torque. Uh, around the 2500 rpm range so it's very powerful at low n so you know let's try to uh, figure this out now as promised earlier on in the video uh, i will look at what that third option engine option likely will be from ford uh, so let's look at the f-150 its current power specs to give us uh, an idea of you know what we're getting out of the five liter, what our chances of getting this engine are. Now, looking at the five liter engine, you know, looking at this chart here, we see that it has 400 pound feet of torque at 4,500 RPM. And if we compare that to the 2.7 liter, uh, the story doesn't bode well. Uh, the 2.7 liter, which is more fuel efficient, is getting also 400 pound feet of torque that at only 2,750 RPM. So on paper already, uh, this is a, a, a big plus for the 2.7 liter and you know, not so great for the five liter. I looked at torque uh, spec sheets and actually the five liter though, while it does make 100% of its power for torque at 4,500 RPM, it's still very powerful uh, around 2,500 RPM. So this does not put a strike on it. Uh, but on paper, when you put it on a spec sheet, the 2.7 liter does look more interesting for a Bronco because once again, the Bronco is made to go off road and you want that low end torque. And also, while we look at horsepower, we may notice that there is a difference. There's less horsepower on the 2.7 liter engine. It is getting that horsepower at a lower RPM, which, you know, you know, wouldn't necessarily uh, be all that important for, let's say, a Mustang. But when it's for a truck or a Bronco and you want to go off roading, uh, you want more horsepower at a lower end. So, you know, here are two factors that point to the fact that, you know, Ford must be very happy with their choice of picking the 2.7 liter EcoBoost over the V8 5 liter. But does this mean we're not going to get a 5 liter on a specialty model? Well, not necessarily. We need to look more into this. Now, looking at speed for the F-150, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, uh, it is fantastic. It's one of its uh, fastest options. Car and driver tested it out and was able to get to 60 miles per, per hour in only 5.7 seconds. So, you know, for everyone who's, gonna, who's saying, I'm not gonna buy a Bronco if it doesn't come with a V8, well, if it's for the sound, I can understand. But if it's about power, well, you know, forget about it. The 2.7 liter is excellent. So let's make a quick recap. The five liter is fuel efficient, unless you're looking at selling, you know, several hundred thousand of them in which it causes problems with future government regulations for overall fuel economy for manufacturers in which they can receive fines. Uh, so, you know, the five liter, it's got power. It's a blast to drive. It would be fantastic off-roading. Uh, now on paper, the spec sheet, the 2.7 liter with its low end torque does look like a really huge positive factor for anyone who wants to go off-roading. And I'm positive they're going to love that engine. And Ford has made it. Ford wants to sell them. It's a fuel efficient engine. So they're only offering it for less than a two. It's, a, it's an option on every model for less than $2,000. So, you know, that's incredible. 
But because of those government regulations, and even some parts of the world have huge taxes if your engine is, is large. So, you know, that's another factor that says that, you know, we're likely going to get a third option for an engine, and it's not going to be the five liter. Now, what will it likely be? Well, Car and Driver released a video, a live, uh, like a, a real life video of uh, what's likely going to be called the Warthog uh, Special Edition Bronco. And in listening to that video, that didn't sound at all like my V8. Uh, it didn't sound like any V8. Uh, it did sound, however, however, like a powerful, hefty six cylinder. Uh, so they speculated, and I'd speculate as well, that that's the 3.5 liter V6. And now the Warthog is a special edition, but that doesn't mean that later on Ford might not, you know, come maybe in one, two or three years or maybe for the next model, uh, come, which should come out in about five years when they refresh the model. It doesn't mean that they won't allow a third option to be purchased like they do the 2.7. Now that's going to depend on the pressure they receive from the consumer. And let's look at that 3.5 because there's now two options for a six cylinder 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine from Ford. So looking at the power specs of the 2021 F-150, we can tell that the Warthog has every reason uh, to use a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Now that's also what the Ford GT uses, but on an F-150, what's quite impressive is you're getting now 500 pound-feet of torque at low RPM, 3100 RPM to be exact, and 400 horsepower. But I'd argue if Ford wants to, uh, you know, help their chances with getting to 50 miles per gallon uh, or whatever government regulation they decide to really go forward with. Right now, it's looking like 50 miles per gallon. What they're likely going to use is uh, an even more exciting engine, and that's the 3.5 liter power boost. And this engine is mucho fun. Uh, it's got a lot more power. It's got 570 pound feet of torque. Now let's take a minute to think about that. That's insane. You know, that's the, the type of torque I'd expect to be getting out of a vehicle that costs over $150,000. So that power boost engine has got a lot going for it, uh, especially when you add the fact that it's got 430 horsepower. And being a guy that's owned a lot of turboed vehicles, from the 1990s, I can say the fun doesn't have to stop there because these engines uh, will likely later on come with aftermarket support to boost even more power. Now we've seen that with the Ford Ranger. I talked about this in my four cylinder uh, video coverage. Uh, you can spend under a thousand US and get a lot more horsepower and a lot more torque. So check that video out if you wanna have an idea of what type of aftermarket fun we might get out of that 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine now here's something i'd really like to see two things really first of all uh, i'll start out by sta stating the obvious i'd love you know ford if you want to charge three four thousand dollars to have a 3.5 liter uh, power boost engine uh, i'd love to be able to have access on that even if it is at a certain trim level like the outer banks uh, but that would be really really exciting that would be fantastic and by the way a power boost engine on an f-150 saves you about 30 percent of your fuel consumption so that over the course of a year actually is interesting but i'd want it for the power but i'd justify the purchase with misses saying that you know i'm getting the hybrid and spending an extra let's say three or four thousand i justify that through fuel economy because 30 percent over the course of a year starts to look pretty interesting and 570 pound feet of torque is insane uh, so that power boost engine is a big win it's a huge plus ford please let us have it as an option on more than just the the hopefully upcoming warthog which would be an addition sort of like the f-150 has the raptor while the bronco uh, should also get its own special edition maybe called warthog 
Now let's add to that wish list rubberized flooring with the drain plug. Uh, I'd love to see that as an option for all models. Now, of course, there's a production cost to that and it would complicate things at the factory. But, you know, in a year or two, uh, could we please have that? And, you know, I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to be a pig and I'm going to pretend like uh, we're just a kid at Christmas. And I'm going to ask for one last thing, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, I would love to see that offered with a manual transmission. Now, maybe it's just not possible. Maybe it would require building a whole new transmission in which case i can definitely understand uh that not happening because you know i don't want to see the price of the bronco go up any higher um because the more options you offer obviously there's a cost attached to that but because i think the actual likelihood you know in conclusion the likelihood of us getting a v8 on the bronco i'd say are pretty darn slim uh I'd ask that it'd be, you know, really great if the, the 3.5 liter, it could actually be the power boost and not the standard 3.5 liter, but you know, 500 pound feet of torque is nothing to cough at, but it would be great if it's an option across all models, uh, either for 2021 or coming up. And I'd also love to see these doors offered pretty quickly, pretty soon as an accessory. Uh, and also it'd be really neat in regards to you know the whole question of buying a Sasquatch package or not and the cost, if we could just have from factory really cool tires and mags. Now you know it is really cool that on uh, the Diamond Edition uh, you can upgrade your mag package for next to nothing. Uh, but yeah, it would be really cool to have cool mags and tires for not too much of a premium. Uh, so, you know, if this video has been helpful, uh, please like and subscribe because there'll be more videos coming out soon.